Every time I watch, I'm like, yes, I did this, I did this. One man actually turned this super frozen banana into a makeshift hammer. Life is hard. There are, there are so many of us who have experienced the high highs and low lows. Over the weekend, she became the youngest skater ever to win the U.S. championship, stealing the show with not one, but two triple axles. That's, somebody, that's something that no woman in this competition has ever done before. So take us to that moment, like right before you get onto the ice, okay? What does it feel like to be you? What are you saying to yourself? What are you feeling inside? Um, I'm telling myself like over and over again, I can do it, just do it. <laughs> One of the cool things that happened was once you got the medal for this, you said, well, you know what? I'm not going to keep this medal. I'm going to give it to my dad because yeah. he deserves it. Why do you think your dad deserves that um, Because he, he just helps me so much. He brings me to the rink every day. And I think he puts in a lot of effort and deserves it. Long hours, huh? Yeah. Can you imagine sitting in the audience being him? We happen to have your dad standing <laughs> yeah. right Arthur. off camera. You want to step Come on, on over, for a second? Come on over, Arthur. You must be so Hi, Arthur. proud of this amazing young woman yes okay so put us in your shoes for a second you're sitting in the bleachers you're watching her she steps out onto the ice um, you seemed calm in the audience what were you feeling I was calm I, I, mm -hmm. I had confidence in her yeah. uh, I knew that she was going to deliver it you met Tara Lipinski who yeah. until you was the youngest mm -hmm. person ever to win at, at nationals and what did she say to you when you got to meet face to face? She's like, I'm so proud of you. Records are meant to be broken, and I'm so happy that you broke the record. Wow. Yeah. You are on such a roll, Alyssa. We are cheering you on all the way. An Arctic outbreak for the ages, the coldest in over a half century. An 80 hour stretch of life threatening temperatures, exacerbated by piercing wind chills plunging to as low as 70 degrees below zero in some cities. It's so cold outside, the U.S. Postal Service, which almost never stops delivering, suspending service in 11 Midwestern states because of safety concerns. Within a matter of minutes, you can develop frostbite on exposed skin. So making sure if that you are going to venture out, uh, that you have hats, gloves, mittens, blankets, food and water in your vehicle. Even a quick dog walk can become dangerous. Sorry, your ears look really You're getting frostbite. I appreciate it. Yeah, I want to like cover you up. Here. I will. Well, All right, we I live it. right there, so we'll head okay. in. Thank All you. Right, go inside. Appreciate <laughs> it. In Illinois, the governor issuing a disaster proclamation for the entire state as Chicago prepares to challenge its all time coldest temperature on record, negative 27, set back in 1985. The city adding extra beds to area shelters in an attempt to keep residents safe. No one uh, in need of a safe or warm place to stay will be turned away. No one. The deadly freeze also making for treacherous driving conditions. This 24 car pileup in Michigan sending at least eight to the hospital, according to fire officials. The bone chilling cold gripping the country's midsection and giving some a run for their money. Your eyelashes and your sweat is freezing. Yeah. Why are you running today? <laughs> There's other this or going to the gym, and the gym's like half a mile from my house. You gonna run tomorrow when it's no, colder? No, definitely not. No, that's a hard pass. So, how cold is it? One man actually turned this super frozen banana into a makeshift hammer. Kate Spade was the woman and name behind a multi-million dollar fashion empire, famous for those iconic handbags, a status symbol for young women across the country. She started the company with her husband, Andy Spade, in 1993 after working as a magazine fashion editor. The world was shocked by the news of Kate's untimely death. She committed suicide last year at the age of 55. Her brother-in-law and comedian David Spade posting this photo saying she could make me laugh so hard I still can't believe it. And her niece, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel star Rachel Brosnahan, recently paying tribute to her aunt on Instagram. But her name and legacy live on throughout her work, her last designs nearly selling out within a day of her passing. Now, Frances Valentine is out with its latest collection, Love Katie, a tribute to her memory, style, and creative vision. We're so happy to have Elise Ahrens and Rachel Brosnahan with us this morning. Good morning to both of you. Kate Spade was just so interesting because so many of us felt like we knew her because we carried one of her items. But you guys obviously knew her in such a different way, her niece and her best friend. Tell us, uh, Elise, about, about the Kate we didn't know, the one you knew. 
Ah, oh, she had the best sense of humor yeah. of anyone I, I've ever known. She was a practical joker, mm -hmm. um, and you know we had so much fun together. We, we constantly played practical jokes on each other. You know what? It's only been seven months, and I was thinking about how quick kind of time goes. But I remember when I had lost someone close to me. I remember always like reaching to pick up the phone. Like you almost forget she was that close to you. Do you still like? I still presence. want to pick up the phone yeah. often. Yes. What, do you, what would you want to talk to her about? Like what kind oh, of? Oh, could things? be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. It's it's the daily things that you call your friend about, your best friend about. You say, you can't believe what just happened to me. Yeah. Um, so I, I do miss that. Uh, Rachel, you um, you posted something on social media that just struck me. These were, the, I guess, the first words about her. You you described your aunt, and you said she was exceedingly kind, beautifully sensitive, insanely talented, funny as heck, and one of the most generous people I've ever known. She was effervescent. She had an effervescent hug, like please hug your loved ones tight tonight. Um, when what did you what did you lose the day that that Kate passed? I mean. One of the closest members of our family, certainly. Yeah. Um, and as as I said, you know, one of the kindest and most generous people I've ever had the privilege of knowing. Mm -hmm. um, and, it, and you know, we were so touched, I think, hearing in the wake of this unthinkable tragedy that we all experienced together, uh, how many other people had been touched either by her personally, by her mm -hmm. work, by her designs. It was something that really meant a lot to us and still does.